On December 2, 2016, at Buckley Air Force Base, Colorado, the Air Force Space Command's Space and Missile Systems Center and the 460th Space Wing successfully achieved operational acceptance of the Space-Based Infrared Systems, or SIBRS, Block 10 ground system. So we're here today to celebrate the, uh, the operational acceptance of Block 10. Um, the delivered ground system is truly the nerve center for the SIBRS network. Space is contested like it's never been contested before, and it's congested. And it is up to us to defend this nation day in and day out, 24-7, 365 days a year, and SIBRS, DSP, and HEO are the cornerstone of that defense mechanism. Nobody does what you do. There are people who do slivers of what you do, but nobody does what you do. And I'll tell you, I have been through many delivery campaigns in my career, this one's gonna go down in Space Command's books as the example for all other programs to follow. So the Block 10 ground system is the realization of a true SIBRS, space-space infrared systems architecture. We took three satellite constellations, the Defense Support Program, DSP, SIBRS Geosynchronous Orbit, SIBRS Geo, and SIBRS Highly Elliptical Orbit, SIBRS Geo, and we combined them all at one location. Instead of having uh, multiple command and control nodes where we are having delays in communication or delays in reporting, uh, we are able to consolidate that into one location. This is the most capable surveillance and warning system that the United States has ever produced. It's the most capable that any nation has ever produced, and we're excited to have the opportunity to operate it. Sibers Block 10 reduces the manpower requirements for our warfighter by bringing three operationally disparate systems together, that means less people are required to do the same job. Prior to this, we were all geographically separated, uh, controlling each its own individual satellite, and so this really enhances uh, crosstalks between different agencies and being able to disseminate uh, vital data and information um, to support the warfighter. So to the warfighter on the ground, the actions that we're taking here are going to be transparent. But what they are going to see is faster warning, more accurate warning. So they're going to get messages just like they always did, and that's not a fundamental change, other than we are providing more data, better data, uh, more accurate data, and faster uh, out to the warfighter. Block 10.3 provides, helps us provide more accurate and timely information. And um, as far as the warfighter is concerned, that you know, improves the missile warning and missile defense. Uh, aspects. This program, um, there was a time when a lot of people thought that we weren't ever going to get here. So what this means is a realization of what was uh, ultimately a dream for people 20, 25 years ago, that we would be able to consolidate manpower, consolidate resources, and provide a more improved surveillance and warning capability than we ever, ever had before. And that is what we're able to do today. Now, to me personally, I take a lot of satisfaction in uh, working with a team of highly dedicated men and women from both the government and, uh, and industry that focused on a significant challenge, worked together, and, uh, and made it happen. A lot of things we were creating from scratch, we were figuring out how to do it as we go. It just, I mean, their commitment to those that they're protecting and serving to figure out how can we get the most out of this system. Being, working with a great team of people who have that same motivation and sense of commitment and also those core values that really unite us together.